Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Ya ayyuhal nas, O mankind, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa unsa. We created you from one male and female. Ya ayyuhal nas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa unsa wa ja'alnakum وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير. All of us here, we are related to one another. There is not a single human being you will ever meet in your life except that somewhere back in history. You two were actually one family. Think about that. This is the biological reality that even modern science approves of as well. The reality is every human being is related to another human being biologically. And Allah Azza wa Jal is emphasizing that. Oh mankind, I am the one who created you from one couple, one male and female. And yes, Allah says, I have made you different. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلْ And I created you شُعُوب. شُعُوب is races. So you have the Arab race, you have the Indian race, you have the Chinese race. This is Sha'ab. Sha'ab is an entire race. And then within the Sha'ab you have قَبَائِلْ Even within India, even within China, even within Arabs, there are many different sub-cultures. And this is قَبَائِلْ, this is the tribe. And Allah Azza wa Jal in other verses mentions that I am the one who has made you different colors. That وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ Of his miracles اِخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ That you have different languages and you have different skin colors. Explicitly, Allah mentions this is of my design. This is of my intention. I made you different amongst yourselves. But why? لِتَعَارَفُوا لِتَعَارَفُوا تَعَارُف means to get to know one another. And isn't it amazing, the first time you meet somebody who's totally new to you, what are the questions you ask them? Where are you from? Where did you grow up? What's your culture like? These are the things, this is ta'aruf. This is the icebreaker. This is why Allah made us all different. And so this verse clearly says, Inna akramakum indallahi, we all know, atqaakum. The one who has the most noble lineage amongst you is the one who has the most taqwa. The one who has the best spirituality. So the verse is very explicit. Your race, your ethnicity, your skin color, your language, your heritage, your parents mean nothing in the eyes of Allah. It's all irrelevant. Inna akramakum indallahi atqaakum. The one who has the most dignity, the one who has the most honor amongst you is the one who has the most taqwa. And taqwa is the consciousness and the knowledge and the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, this simple reality, most of mankind accepts it as something that is an ideal that should be strived for. Most of mankind, even the non-Muslim and Muslims, they all agree, you know what? All humans should be treated equally. But guess what? When the Quran was revealed, there was really no civilization, no philosopher, no culture that was preaching this radical message of equality. Every single race thought that they were better than every other race. The message that our Prophet ﷺ taught was a radical message for the time. It was a message that didn't make any sense to the people. He was the one who said in the Hajjatul Wada' in front of the largest audience he ever had. The khutbah that he gave in front of the largest audience is only six paragraphs, that's it. And an entire paragraph is dedicated to what? Racial equality. O mankind, listen well. I may not be with you much longer. The weak among you, feed them on what you eat, dress them as you are dressed. You will meet your God, and He will call you to account for your actions. Let those who are present warn those who are absent. You are all descended from Adam, and the best among you is he who most regards God. Think deeply about what I say. Let all your feuds be abolished. 
you must know that every Muslim is the brother of every other Muslim, and all Muslims are brothers one of another. Between Muslims there are no races and no tribes, nor must you take anything from your brother except what is given freely. Do not oppress, and do not be oppressed. This is something that, wallahi, we take for granted. This is visionary. This is something that is earth shattering. No philosopher at the time, no civilization is preaching. You know what? All humans should be equal. It's what's inside that makes you better in the eyes of Allah. But our Prophet was preaching this 14 centuries ago. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqakum. Inna hadihi ummatukum ummatan wahida. This is your ummah. It is one ummah. And that is when the ummah will become strong. Wallahi brothers and sisters, I have to say this. Look at the ummah and the state of the ummah now. Look at how many political entities we have been divided into. Look at the fact that countries and nations that are all saying La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah are bombing each other, going to war with each other. Sometimes the governments and nations are killing their own citizens in multiple cases, in multiple countries. Who needs enemies when we have friends like these? Think about it. Wallahi, one of our biggest problems today is we have forgotten the concept of Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. And I had to say this explicitly, brothers and sisters, we are one ummah. There is no superiority of an Arab over Ajam, of a white over a black, of anyone over anyone, except with taqwa. Let every person look at his or her own prejudices and get rid of them. Because our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, this is from Jahiliya. Let's cleanse our heart of Jahiliya. Donate now. The dailyreminder.org slash donate.